emphasizes, I don't think that Indiana basketball is using its own resources that it, the monster of resources that it has created. Like you just you said there, I, I don't know all of those, but I yeah. guarantee you there are a ton more former players who have uh, relatives, this, that, and the other thing that no one knows about, uh, yeah. things like that. Uh, it just there's so many things that they're not using the players themselves. There's, as I said, there's been a, the cream guys aren't necessarily don't know all the night guys, right. uh, just the Samson guys. Uh, now the, the Miller guys, and I'm right. worried a lot of the Miller guys, man, whew, they're going to feel really disenfranchised, <laughs> uh, because Archie was such and that's Archie Miller's fault, but he was such a distancer. It's almost like it distanced them. And then you had COVID. Uh, yeah. So, man, I, I can see how they uh, – there's not a lot to feel good about for those guys. But uh, yeah. let's hope that they yeah. don't get forgotten about. But Yeah, you, and you hope – again, I mean, okay, and, and going back to, like, the coach situation, you just – whoever they, whoever they bring in, I'm glad – I'm glad the nighttime – event happened right with coach Knight coming back because i think that was the start of almost like a gelling a healing process where more guys we i know for me i want to make more of a constant effort to show support show up and not to talk people's ears off by how they have to play in tradition just being there man just i mean just letting them know what they what they're all hey man here's what you're looking forward to 20 plus years from now <laughs> This is this is this is the IU connection. This is the things that we do and how we do it, right? And and uh, yes, it's about the wins and losses right now, but that's what's going to set you up for later on in life. 